three, go. One, two, three, go. Hello, welcome back to the show. This is Rich Novak, the man in Panama, and I'm here today with a lovely lady named Judy Lecoque. Uh, say hello to the Overseas Radio Network audience, Judy. Hi, everyone. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Judy speaks English and French. Hola. Hola. <laughs> and some Spanish. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different with this segment of the show. Uh, we are, this is a segment on the Overseas Radio Network, but we're also filming the segment and we're going to put it on YouTube. And we have Judy's husband, Felipe, who's a Texan, a French Texan, filming the show. I'm a French cowboy. A French cowboy. <laughs> Very good. Okay. And actually, I had the opportunity of meeting Judy yesterday for the first time. And maybe you could share with our listening audience uh, how we happened to meet. Okay. Um, we, I'm here in Panama having a stem cell treatment. A stem cell treatment. Absolutely. And we are, yesterday, we were going out to visit the laboratory, Medicine Lab, uh, in the prestigious city of knowledge. And we were in the same band. Right. And we met. We began to talk about Gentiles and the journey in Panama. Right. And maybe we should, you should also mention that you have a website where you're describing your, with a blog, your journey with your battle against multiple sclerosis. Yes, I, I do. My website is www.judylecoq, -E or, or let me spell the whole thing, J-U-D-I-L-E-C-O-Q.com, and I'm also on Twitter. Okay, great. And you've got a website, and, and actually how we happen to meet, uh, and maybe we should take a step back. There's uh, another website that we should give the audience. It's Cell Medicine, C-E-L-L-M-E-D-I-C-I-N-E, -E -E, CellMedicine.com. And what that is, that's the website for the Panama... Uh, the Stem Cell Institute. The Stem Cell Institute. In Panama. Okay. And, and Judy is getting treatments for her MS. And actually, my wife is involved in the program. She has osteoarthritis and a bad hip. And so she's doing stem cells as well. Yeah. Okay. And very, very successful right. for osteoarthritis. But you've actually been involved with this program now for really a number of years. Three years. Three okay. years. My first visit to Panama was in June of 2010, and uh, I've been back multiple times, Okay. multiple times. You, you found out about your illness really back in, what, I was, 2009? I was diagnosed in 1997, and um, my... 1997? Yes, and actually, um, I believe, I know, we know that um, I had multiple sclerosis for much longer. I had all the symptoms. And um, what, what were some of the symptoms, symptoms that you had? Symptoms, yes. It, um, I had, I was extremely uncoordinated. I had a lot of trouble walking. I was extremely fatigued, weak. I had numbness, tingling, things that were inexplicable. And I saw, I saw many doctors who had issues internally with everyday functions that people take for granted and those things were a serious problem. And um, so, and, and I have to say that before I started the uh, stem cell journey, I, my husband and I had a business and um, uh, my disease was progressing and I was getting weaker and weaker and more fatigued and more difficulty walking and we eventually had to sell the business. We, we knew we had to do this. And um, I, I seemed to be going down the hill quite fast. I, I walked with a cane, but that I had ordered a scooter because I knew that I probably needed a wheelchair, but I, wasn't, I couldn't accept it. You know? you asked how old were you at the time when you were in a, needed a scooter? We needed a scooter. Um, that was uh, 2009. So, um, boy, I cannot do math. <laughs> I was 47. You're never supposed to ask a woman her age, but I just did indirectly. Okay. Yeah, but that's too okay. young to be needing a scooter. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, um, I uh, I 
had ordered the scooter and I was walking when it became so difficult and my life looked very bleak. I never left my house because it was just too weak. And um, I kept on hearing about stem cells and I kept on hearing about stem cells and I, I never really took it seriously because it's not mainstream, it's not in the general consciousness. I think it's beginning to get there. But um, I did a lot of research and I found a clinic in Panama that is the real deal. And, but you actually started in Costa Rica, correct? Or I was scheduled to go to Costa Rica oh. with this clinic, the Stem Cell Institute. Stem and Cell Institute. Exactly. Okay. And cell medicine. Um, and what happened is this uh, clinic moved, put all of its operations here in Panama, moved from Costa Rica because there was two clinics. There was one in Panama and one in Costa Rica, and I was scheduled to go to Costa Rica, but it, every, everything was, um, moved. they moved, they moved oh. the whole operation and okay. everything. They had the Medistem labs here, in, uh, but Medistem is a separate company. The laboratory that we went to, so impressive, is a separate company, and, um, uh, but that's the laboratory where all the stem cells are processed. All right. So, so here, if you would share with the audience some of the symptoms that you used to have that now you no longer have or have less often, okay. as an example, mm -hmm. because you are getting better with this stem I cell am. treatment. I am, and, and and I want to explain about this because first of all, after a stem cell treatment in multiple sclerosis, the immune system is modified. It's modified for up to nine months, and you get a person like me or someone with multiple sclerosis gets relief from fatigue, weakness, numbness, tingling, pain. There's there's a the immune system is modified during that period of time. So after I have a stem cell treatment I feel fabulous. You know, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Um, in sixty five percent of the cases there will be repair to old damage. And these are these are the things that you know, so it doesn't work every time. So, I get two things from stem cell treatment. I get a modification of those difficult symptoms, and I might get very good chance to get repaired old damage. So, I, I was saying that before the treatment, I, had, I couldn't stand on my leg. I couldn't stand on my leg longer than a minute. I couldn't cook, I couldn't go shopping. I, it was, wow. I was very depressed. It was hard wow. to leave the house. And so now I can stand on my leg for hours. I, it doesn't, I don't have to sit down all the time. And that's one of the reasons why I, I ordered a scooter. So when I came back from Panama the first time, I stopped the scooter. Order. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, I did. like there is a guy. I did. It was amazing. And, um, and uh, so my legs got stronger. They got much stronger. I, mean, I still use a cane. I don't walk very well. I have. And that's why I'm here now. That's what our hope, the walking. And um, the other things that got fixed are internal. They're, uh, they're things that people don't realize that people with multiple sclerosis get affected by. Things like the bladder. The bladder. Oh. Which got, which, you know, I mean, I had more than 20 things years. Things are better, right. Oh. Much better. Here, but what we're going to do, this treatment is a two-week process. You're now, like, uh, what, almost a week into it? Yeah. And you're going to be here for, like, another week. What, what we're going to, what we'd like to do, if we can, is have a follow-up. Have you, another, have you on the show one more time, and about a week from now, and you can talk about your progress some more. Sure. No, okay. Yeah, so don't go away. This is Rich Novak, the man in Panama, the Overseas Radio Network. We'll be right back. Thank you so much, Judy.